Here inside of Photoshop, I have a multi-layer document, and we can see that in the Layers panel just here. Now I'm thinking I would like to just see the pixels within the castle layer. So we know that each layer has an eyeball icon, and I can just start clicking to turn the visibility of each layer off. This will take a very long time, especially if my document has hundreds of layers. So let me turn these back on and show you the cool trick you all came to see. So here on a Mac, you wanna be holding down the Option key. On a Windows machine, the Alt key. So holding down Alt or Option, then just click on the eyeball for the layer that you wish to see exclusively. And I'll do that just now. Check it out, the visibility of everything else is turned off. And I'm just seeing now the pixels for the castle layer out here. Now to bring back the visibility of everything else, simply repeat the process. Alt option, eyeball, castle layer, and fantastic, everything has come back. Now guys, Photoshop isn't just blindly turning on the visibility of all of those other layers. There's actually a fair bit of intelligence going on just here, and I'd like to demonstrate that just now. So let's say in my composition, clouds and birds, their visibility is turned off. Again, let's exclusively look at those pixels on the castle layer, alter option, eyeball, there we go. So I wish to now turn everything back on, repeat the process, and check this out. Photoshop hasn't just blindly turned everything back on, it's actually remembered that clouds and birds, their visibility was actually off. So that's fantastic to know, guys. Don't be afraid to use this technique if your document has the visibility of some layers turned off. I'd like to leave you with one last trick. So I'll just turn back on the visibility of everything here. So in this little scenario, I'm thinking everything above the castle layer, I would like to turn off the visibility of those layers. So of course, one at a time, this will take a long time. Let me turn those back on. Instead of just clicking and releasing on the eyeball icons one at a time, I'm going to click and hold on one eyeball icon. With my mouse still held down, I'm just going to run my mouse over those other layers like so. And you can see all of those layers are now turned off. To bring back the visibility of layers, you can do exactly the same thing. So I'm clicking and holding with the mouse, dragging over those eyeballs on those different layers. They all come back, and now I just release my mouse like so. So that's it there, guys. I might wrap things up just there. Hopefully you learned a few cool things about the visibility of layers here inside of Photoshop. Catch you later.